Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at the SH Figure Arts version of Rey from The Rise of Skywalker. Now this is a really, really nice figure. I think it probably goes on par with Hasbro. Hasbro's Black Series version of this Rey is absolutely magnificent. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've reviewed it, so go back and take a look. Um, if not, there's more people that have. <laughs> um, so I'm really, really impressed with this figure. Uh, for the most part, it does have a couple of little downsides, um, but we'll talk about that. Uh, she does come with an assortment of hands. Um, I can't actually remember which ones because <laughs> I've just jumbled them all into my uh, spare parts container. As always, it does come with a lightsaber hilt which uh, pegs onto her belt. And you can see this is the uh, reconstructed Skywalker blade. And that will peg onto the side of her belt, which was something the uh, Hasbro's Black Series version didn't have an allowance for. Um, so it's nice that this one has that option as well. Now the likeness is really nice. It's a great likeness of Daisy Ridley as Ray. Now I have blue tacked this hood in place, but the way they've done this is the downfall. Um, and I'll explain it with the other accessories. So this hooded piece actually comes all the way around. It attaches to this sort of neck, lower neck chest piece here. Um, now that actually removes and it swaps out for this hooded version, which I just don't get that. I think it looks, it looks weird. It's just not a great idea. Um, I can sort of see what they were trying to achieve. It fits in so it locks in nicely and sits nicely. But the paint colour of the chest and the neck, I know my camera's probably not picking it up, is just slightly off. It's a little off-putting and if you can't sort of, you know, sort of be able to sort of tuck it in there as well. Um, otherwise it looks really out of place. That's probably the only disappointing thing with this figure. I, otherwise, I, I really, really like it. Um, the other thing I thought was initially her neck peg was a little bit long, so her head tend to set up like that a little bit more. Um, that's just to do with the, the way the hood is and her head sits in the, under it. But I shortened the peg, so I was able to put her head down a little bit. This looks a little bit more natural now. So she's holding her lit lightsaber blade. I just really like this outfit. I like the white. I like the fact that she's given it a hood. She's still carrying Han Solo's blaster. That holster has a peg, which pegs onto the leg. So it's nice that that can be uh, popped out when you want to articulate her a little bit more. It just allows that to sort of free flow, but static like it can stand and hold like that. This holster is workable so you can get that blaster pistol out and uh, I think it's a nice nice little touch that she's honoring her mentors with uh, carrying around Luke's saber Han's blaster and obviously later on she gets Leia's saber but uh, these came with a couple of stands I know not everyone got the stands um, but it was a really nice blue base with the rebel insignia on it and the, you know, the figure art stand that with the arms that come out and hold this. So I've got her lining up with Kylo Ren and they look great together. It's the central part of my figure art shelf. But you can get some, get some excellent poses with these figures. So... Yeah, I really, I really, really like this figure. It's a great one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Next up, I'll be looking at the Kylo Ren from The Rise of Skywalker. This is a pretty good figure. Um, and I'm looking forward, to, looking forward to showing it. So, till my next video, may the Force be with you.